bring invitation was to the custom. Look at that sparkle. Imagine if they were yours. Imagine what it'd be like to be able to afford to be dripping in sapphires and diamonds. You don't earn money like that working, Mandy Pandy. You might. I'm saving up for Mickey Mouse Airmas, personally. Girls, this is Mr. Cross. Do sit down, Colin. And let's make a start. Come here, Joanne. Oh, lovely oh, necklace, isn't it? It must be wonderful to make things like this. Can you mind your hair? Can't seem to be able to catch the little thingy. You just have to slide it back. Oh, I see. How clever. So clever it doesn't work. <laughs> Here we are. Looks very nice. This is a quaint sort of area, isn't it? It's the Bohemian Quarter, Camilla. And you've got to be so careful in this business, comrade. Oh, no. Appearances are everything. Of course. An agency's got a lousy name, and the models get tired of the same brush. Oh, it's all kosher. I mean, we do the NEC, no? We do all the big glosses. Page three? Only in the independence. Boy. Fetch Maggie in here for me, would you, please? Yeah. Nice bit of gear now, Reg. Tudor Meals, great hall at the Station Hotel. Oh, very good. Wine, wenches, balance, beef, all in price. God, you don't do promotions, do you? You have to be versatile in the Midlands. They come to us crying out for edge. We can't turn them away, can we? Oh, lovely stuff, yes. Ah, oh, uh, Maggie. This is Camilla. Hello, Camilla. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just setting up a casting. Do have a seat, Camilla. Thank you. Bit of class, eh, Max? What you need, raise the tone of the place. You see her legs? Race her like legs. She's gone all the way up to That her. is the usual arrangement. She's the real thing, Max. She's done all the top London shows. Why are you so matey with her? Well, she's married to a friend of mine called Victor, who you don't know. She just wants a bit of local work, that's all. She's a gold mine. No model is a gold mine. Beauty and brains, sweet pea, winning combination. Are you happy, Colin? Yeah, we're going on very well, thanks. I mean, some of this lot, you know. This still isn't right. It's brilliant. Six months I spent on this, and it still isn't right. It's pathetic. You try it on Joanne. I was just about to say that. No, no, it'll look chronic on me, really. Shushed. What? Joe, it looks beautiful. It's a bit more like it. There's earrings to go with it somewhere as well. I've got them on. Put them on as well. You two go very nicely together. African Queen. Well, I think he's fallen in love with you. And he's going to keep giving you diamonds and rubies and sapphires until you say you'll marry him. And you'll be a perfect father for Jody. And and you can live in a big house just outside Stratford, and... Jodie can have a pony. And Jodie can have a pony, yes. Jodie doesn't want a pony. She wants a rock viola. Oh, rubbish. Of course she wants a pony. I don't think she's even seen a pony. Oh, yes, she has, on television. Anyway, all he's done is book me for a half-day session. He hasn't proposed yet. Well, if you don't want to have a pony. It does happen, though, doesn't it? Models do meet rich people and marry them. I know it happens. It never happened to me. You're not the marrying type. Well, I wouldn't mind being kept. You would really? I wouldn't. Look at me. I look like something the Falcons dragged in. Who's that? Have you seen the legs on her? Incredible. That's not a her. That's a fella. <laughs> that big dad. It's a man in front. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. 
trouble that <clears throat> I'll just run it under the tap. This is Camilla. She used to be with Ace Models in London. Ace Models, Ace Model, eh, Camilla? Hardly. <laughs> Usual for you, Maggie. Usual for you, Camilla. Please, Conrad. Don't you think it's very different here from London? No, not really. People are very friendly. Oh, dear. I've just thought we've got a casting for the Mexican road show tomorrow, Camilla, if you'd like to take part. Well, I'd love to, so long as I'm not treading on anyone's toes. Oh, good Lord, no. You're one of the girls now. And don't forget you're up for it, Joanne. You'll just have time before the photo session with Mr. Cross, OK? I didn't know you did photographic work as well. Anything that turns up, basically, I'm glamour. Do you know, I always think it's so brave of you to take all your clothes off like that. You must need such perfect skin. But I used to work, I didn't actually take glamour models on the books. Didn't you? That's a tiny bit sordid, isn't it? I hope you didn't have all that bother with men in Max. In the Bangkok brothels, they all parade along the counter of the bar. Do they? Mm. Rather like Joanne's walking. Oh. Why is Veronica walking like she's just sat on a carrot? Because her royal highnesses. <laughs> So just put both feet through one knicker leg. Camilla? Hmm? Do you suppose these models would take me on if I went to London? I suppose they wouldn't. Well? I've always wanted to do the big shows, Florence, Milan, Paris, and those videos. Yes, well, you're not going to end up in a Catherine Hamlet video if you stick around here. Oh? But glamour milk models, I mean, honestly. Yes, but I don't do it. Darling, I'm just giving you a tiny bit of advice for your own good. Well, why did you leave London? I mean... People go from here to London if they're lucky, but they don't usually come the other way unless they're over 25 and completely knackered. Haven't I told you about Victor, my husband? Mm, you did mention you were married, yes. Thanks, girls. If you just wait a minute. Victor's just bought an estate over near Warwick. It's absolutely beautiful, but he's, Victor says even I can't spend all my time in a swimming pool. Is it very big? It's a good size. Five ensuite bedrooms. You wouldn't have anything smaller. But we've only got ten acres. Have you got a horse? God, no. Do you know what they do to your bottom? Thought that was husbands. Camilla? Veronica? Christine? Sarah? Stephanie? Nicola? Susan? Joanne? Joe, have a leave that dusky wet. Oh, look at you. What's the matter? Am I coming unjived? You're coming apart at the seams. Honestly, is that the best costume they could get for you? It's not really me, is it? It's not really anyone under 450. People veer away when they see me. I'm going to be smothered in diamonds all day, as usual. With that nice chap. I don't know why you all keep going on about him. He's nothing special. You can be too cool in this world, you know. Well, that's the idea, yeah. One catalogue for here, another one for the States. How long are you going for? About four months. Depends how we get on. Who? Me and America. Are we holding you up? I've been planning this trip for about five years. Oh. More than that, to get this lot together. Did you go to college to do jewellery design? You don't have to. I did. I wanted to go to college to do fashion. Mm-hmm. What? I had a baby instead. Boy or a girl? Girl. Best kind. Well... Listen, darling, if you're going to be serious about the jewellery, you really shouldn't go for coloured stones. Be a sweet thing, Roland. Oh, help me carry my bags to the car. Mm -hmm. Neck muscles. 
Can't be too careful. See you tomorrow. Neck muscles. I think they look lovely, Joan. Colin gave them to me. Really? He just said keep them on, they suit you. Now that was very nice of him. Well, I think he is nice. I mean, men can be, can't they? Occasionally. He asked me out to dinner. Mm, where are you going? If someone will babysit. He said he likes children. Ah. You know, it would be very nice. But no, I can't put too much on it. What? Well, you know, sometimes I get fed up of having to look after myself and look after Jodie and look after the hamster and pay the electricity bills and do all the shopping on a Saturday morning and watch my arms grow three feet long having to carry it back home because I haven't got a car or a Veronica mm -hmm. and worry about where the next pair of Jodie's gold-plated training shoes are coming from. It would be so restful to have a man about the place. Mm. <gasps> if he was nice. Well, I hope something works out. Just to change the hamster letter. Of course. Miller's ever so interesting. She's worked for all the big London fashion houses. So she says. No, she's been to New York and Paris. I told her I'd like to do more show work in London, but she says it'll be difficult while I'm still with Maggie's models. Why? Because this agency's got the wrong sort of image. But she's promised to help me with some introductions. What do you mean, the wrong image? Well, because of all the glamour work. Camilla said that. Well, he does know, Susan. I mean, all right, it's not fair that everyone thinks glamour models are tarts, but Camilla says that even if they're not, people assume they are because they take their clothes off for money. I think that's enough, Veronica. Or she says that they're in the marriage market and having to trap men into marrying them. Whereas Victor, her husband... Shut up, Veronica. Yes, but it's what people think, Susan. I mean, if that's what they think, and they say I'm with Maggie's models, and they think that all I do is tack a new calendar... Excuse like me, that. Veronica, but this tart thinks she's going home. Joe? Joe, I don't think you're a Well done, Bee. So, tell me about the job. Nothing much to tell, really. It's just having your photograph taken. It's not as simple as that, surely. It is. That's all it is. Oh. You just put the clothes on, whatever they are. Take them off. I don't take all my clothes off. I didn't say take all your clothes off. I don't know where you got that idea from. I didn't get that idea from anywhere. I do tops. Yes, OK. And that's all. Right, fine. And these people who criticise us want to think who it is that looks at those pictures. It's just men, I suppose. Yeah. Men. If you feel like that about the job, why do you do it? I am trying to earn a decent living for myself and my daughter. And I deserve as much respect as anybody else. Right? Who said anything different? I just don't like people getting the wrong idea about me. And I don't like people getting the wrong idea about me. Yes, well, it's right for you. You've got your own firm, you make a lot of money. Not that much. It doesn't matter to you what people think about you. That depends on who they are. Well, that's nice for you, isn't it? I wish I didn't care when people insulted me behind my back just because they think they're better than I am. They have pops at me all the time. But I do care. I can't help it. It's important to me. Joanne, whatever's the matter with you? I think I'd better be going home. Thank you for a lovely evening. Please leave me alone. I'm in a hurry. Oh, come on. Read all about it. Please go away. But you'd love it. I would rather die than go to your ghastly little banquet. You can do both with this menu. Look, I shall report you to the management if you don't leave me alone. It's the management that wants me here. I've been told that this is a high-class agency and a high-class show. And it had better be, because I think I could be getting just a teensy-weensy bit fed up with the Midlands. And I can certainly do without your tacky little leaflets, Ron. Right scoop, left scoop, right scoop. Oh, come on, cheer up. You're not still worried about what Bron said, are you? 
Look, I know it's not of my business, and I certainly don't want to get involved, but you know she's got the brains of a peanut. She said she didn't mean it. She said she's terribly unhappy. She didn't sleep all night. Neither did I. Mm. Now, for the uh, first and top, we have this music. God for that. We have a bound down step. You crack your whips, you throw your hats into the air, you kick up your skirts, and you show your petticoats. But all at the same time. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Nice and snappy. Nice and quick. Keep it quick and light. Crack your whips. Throw your hats into the air. Catch your hat and kick your heels. Okay? Silla, Tudor Banquets at the Station Hotel. Your ticket includes two glasses of mild spice. Rat Spain. This cat's like barrel of you could just tell me the next step, honestly. It would help me to concentrate. You see, the thing is, I'm not really terribly good at dance because the ballet class I went to in this really cold church hall, I spent all my time snuggled up with the radiator. No! God, it was nice if you gave all the little shit. But I can't do it. You can't do the job. That's not my fault. It's Maggie who puts us in for everything. God, that woman. It's the first thing about running a model agency. You could just say hat and whip and kick. You could just do that. That would distort my face. Whip and hat and kick and whip and hat and kick. You whip. shut up for two minutes. I swear to you, we're a hat. I can't do it. Of course you can. Look, the costumes are awful anyway. Get your whip ready, Ron. And whip. And hat. And turn. Turn. Because it's easy for Joanne, isn't it? I mean, dancing comes naturally to them, doesn't it? Piss off, Camilla. I'll be grateful to you until I die. I'm going to put you in my will. No, I mean it. No, you can go at am. Well, I might get run over by a bus tomorrow. You never go anywhere near a bus. Well, all right, a brick might fall on my head, and I've got to move down on the golf. OK, V, look, let's just forget we fell out, all right? I ruined your dinner with Colin, didn't I? No, of course you didn't. I did. Sue told me I did. Well, it's too late now. I've blown it. Joe, you ring him up. I can't. You can, I will if you like. You will not. Joe. Sue, tell Joe to ring Colin. I can't. Well, I don't see why not. The poor bloke must be wondering what on earth he's done wrong. What's that? Why do you think Camilla has left Don't the... say her horrid name. Why has the witch left her cashmere two-piece in the rubbish bin? I am sorry. Are you often like that? Only at full moon. Uh... Women are totally unpredictable anyway. I beg your pardon. Unreasonable, unreliable, illogical, violent. Rubbish. Totally useless with spanners. <laughs> and you look far better in my gear than anyone ever will. Go on. True. You made it all beautiful. You were beautiful. Thank you. if we do well. Hope you have a lovely time. Joanne, I will be back. Yeah, send me a postcard. I'll write to you. OK, write to me. I will write to you. That'll be nice. Right, let me show you what a nice time a good guy can have in Birmingham. Victor, my husband, charged with dishonestly handling 50,000 quids worth of cashmere goods. A couple of jumbos. Yes, well, I can't bear anything except cashmere next to my skin. Can you? Certainly not my husband, Victor, by the sounds of things. Where is the witch, Holloway? Licked, I gather. Hi! 
You were supposed to be handing out leaflets in the shopping precinct. Look, I don't mind capering up and down in the pouring rain, making a complete noodle of myself, but when they come up and say I'm not attracting enough attention, and would I mind walking on my hands, that is it. I've been pushed far enough. End. Finito. Basta. Get back to work, Reg. I can't. I, I've pulled a muscle in my back. They've run and offered you another 50 p an hour, as long as you do a few little hops and skips. Well, I'm going to have my lunch first. I'll ask for a Yorick. Morning. 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 Oh, I've got you something. Yeah, right. Uh, come with us, husband. He got himself into a little bit of bother. It's just not surprising. Isn't it? Has he done her in? No. Uh, but he has had an unfortunate misunderstanding about the origin of some knitwear, which I dare say will all be cleared up all in good time at the Crown Court to everyone's satisfaction. But in the meantime, Camilla has gone away to avoid inconvenience and i would suggest that you tell anyone making any inquiries that you never spoke more than two words to the poor girl and that way you'll be left in peace pardon you tell the police you never spoke to her i wish i never had she was a spiteful thing you never spoke to her did you no you don't even know why she came here, do you? But I thought you introduced her to Maggie, didn't you? You don't know why she came here. I don't know why she came here. What's he on about? You don't know anything about Camilla. Especially not who brought her here in the first place. Mm. Did you ring Colin? Yes, I did. And we went out and got drunk in Mervyn's, and oh. we got drunk everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And this morning he flew out to America for the rest of his life. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he'll come back, Joe. Yeah, he said he'd write. Oh, don't hold your breath. The fool says this one is different. I wish he was, but he won't be. Shame. I did like him. Well, never mind. Shut your eyes. Pretty. Mm -hmm. It's not alive, is it? <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't have. Oh, you do forgive me, don't you, Joe? Yes. The fool says it's time for lunch. You coming? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm still half kippered. Well, look after the phones for me for 20 minutes, then. I'm starving. Yeah. All right. Hello, Maggie's Models. May I help you? Hello. Look, can you speak up, please? I can't hear you. Hello? 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 Colin? Where are you? What airport? Well, look, go and get on the plane, you daft thing. Go! 23, Coldale Road, Birmingham 29. Oh, yes, I had noticed you didn't ask. Well, I, I didn't think you were really interested. All right, all right. Bye, Colin. Ah, uh, so much to say, and only one temp to say it in.